find an appropriate place to locate your solar panel. At this stage, temporarily secure it using strong PVC tape or something similar. On this T25 Westphalia model, we chose the back of the pop top near the hinge mechanism. Since we'll feed directly into the charging controller, we won't need these connectors, so they can be discarded. However, do isolate the cable ends with tape. Carefully consider how you will route your cabling before drilling holes. We chose to drill two holes in the pop top roof, between the side of the pop top and outside of the tent, just in case there is any future water ingress. We then routed the cables between the hinge and tent, cable tying them to the inside of the mechanism, with them then feeding into the tailgate. It's always wise to test your cable routing before proceeding to the next stage, especially when drilling holes. Choose a sensible spot like this to drill a hole, next to the wiring for the rear wiper. Drill through, first with a small bit, and then a larger bit, following up with a rubber grommet to protect the cables against chafing. Carefully feed the cables through, taking care that the isolating tape doesn't come loose, as the solar panel will be producing current at this stage. This would also be a good time to decide where to locate your charging controller, so you can trim the cables as necessary. Next, having removed the connectors from the 5 meter extension leads, mark one as positive or negative and secure them together using loom tape or similar. Now you can begin to route the cables to the leisure battery, which is located just behind the driver's seat on this T25 and required a fair amount of work. Once located, you can trim the cable ends and fit the appropriate electrical connectors. At this stage, only connect the negative terminal as you haven't wired up the controller yet. Take extra care as you wire up the solar panel to the charging controller, making one connection at a time, as it will already be producing current, as you can see. Now you can wire up the leisure battery, and if you want to, there is provision to charge the main battery as well. This controller has a 90-10 split, with 90% of the charge feeding directly to the leisure battery. Once the charging controller is wired up, you can secure it to the van. You can now connect the positive feed to your leisure battery and confirm that the circuit is charging before finally securing the solar panel. Having clearly marked the location of the solar panel, remove the tape you used to temporarily secure it and give the surface a good clean before you apply bonding agent. We used black bonding agent J41173, which cures in about an hour, although we advise you wait 24 hours before using the vehicle. Whilst you may be able to carry out this work yourself, we recommend getting a helper, especially when it comes to bonding the panel to the roof. Once fitted, this solar panel kit should keep your vehicle batteries charged and ready for adventure way into the future. To discover more great products, visit our online store at www.justcampers.com.